All right. <laughs> Largest member of the amphibian family in Costa Rica. Very fast. Very, very fast. Very slippery. Big, giant, buff arms. Now, these big, giant, buff arms are a male because he gets pumped up like that when he's going to do his little mating thing. Hear that? That's the call he makes. He, that's the call he makes when he wants to get away. See how he was trying to grab my my hand with those little spikes? Hang on. Oh, <laughs> notice the spikes. Can you guys see the spikes? Yeah. Those big black spikes right there are used by the males to grab them. Can you see it? Yeah. Those big black spikes right there are used by the males to grab onto the females during mating. It's a position called amplexus. Okay, because frogs don't mate like normal things mate. The male like this will grab the female. Oh, it's okay, I'm not gonna hurt you. Same thing with those big pectoral spikes that look like kind of like nipples. No, he's fine, he can breathe just fine. He's doing that as a way to try to get me off of him. Okay, but point being, this guy grabs the female in a position called amplexus and squeezes her, causing her to release the eggs, and then he will squirt his sperm over them, usually in some kind of a water formation. But the other thing that these guys will do is they don't have to mate necessarily in water. They will use these big giant legs of theirs to froth and kick the sperm and egg mixture, sometimes hundreds of eggs, into a big gel mass. And sometimes you'll find that in place of just finding the eggs and the sperm. Yes, I know. He's kind of like the Arnold Schwarzenegger of frogs. He's like, I'm here to pump. You are. Yes, look at my big muscular arms. I'm here to squeeze every female, squeeze out all the eggs I can, and put the sperm out. You have to get down. You have to get down with me in the in the, in the the pond. You have to get to the chopper. I have no idea what the chopper is, but you have to get to it. I have to say it in every movie. Okay. So the point being, also known as the Central American Bullfrog, these guys, as large as they are, will eat almost anything. These guys will eat amphibians, other amphibians. They will eat small invertebrates. They'll eat uh, insects. They'll eat arachnids. They'll eat tarantulas. They'll eat birds. They'll eat mammals. They'll eat lizards, snakes, anything again that can fit in that massively large jaw of theirs. I'm not even going to put my finger up there because he probably would actually bite it. Now they don't really have teeth, but they have enough jaw pressure to where it probably would not feel too great. Notice the great amount of camouflage he exhibits. There's that call again, basically. He does that, that's an alarm call for him to try to make me surprised enough to go, ah, and drop him for then for him to get away. And it works very effectively most of the time, because last year, those of you that heard last year, remember when I grabbed him last year and I went, ah, because he went. <laughs> yeah, of course, now he doesn't do it, right? I'm like, thanks, buddy. This guy, these guys will typically live in burrows. Now, they're more of a terrestrial frog than a typical frog. Notice that he doesn't have a lot of webbing on the feet, and even on his back toes are almost completely web-free. That's because he's mainly a terrestrial frog. That's very unusual. Most frogs have at least some kind of webbing to swim. Even in the dry season, he lives in a burrow, and he'll stay there most of the time, and he'll come out at night, he's nocturnal, to defend it. And he'll have a call, kind of like the marine toads that we have around here that go... His is similar to that, but a little bit different. So, point being, uh, some... People in Central and South America do eat these guys. The large legs here have lots of muscle, lots of meat. Some people do eat these, but more, off, more than often they're just a great curiosity. And they also work good in pest control because of the fact that, uh, they, again, they will eat almost darn near anything. You just have to be careful that they don't some, they eat something you want to keep around. Can I touch it? Yeah, you can touch him. Just be very gentle on his back. He's very slimy. He's so... <laughs> now, why is he puffing up, students? He wants to make himself look bigger. Very good. He's puffing up because he wants to make himself look bigger. Okay. Very slimy. And that's actually a good thing. The sliminess on him is like a protective slime coat. That means that his skin is healthy. Okay, so it's actually a good thing. Woo! Lovely. Go ahead. Okay. So point being, Central American Bullfrog, also known as the... Uh, Smoky Jungle Frog, amazing addition to the amphibian family with his big buff Arnold Schwarzenegger posture. Yeah, look at me, look at my biceps. I work out every day. I lift little sticks with rocks oh, on the end. Yes, my pecs, they even have the nipples on them. I work them out too. I can bench press five grasshoppers. <laughs> okay, so we're going to go release this guy. I think what he thinks is he thinks our little pool here down at the bottom of our lodge in uh, 
Playa San Josecito, Costa Rica, is like his pond that he's defending, which is why I'm pretty sure we've seen him almost every night continually, continually seen him uh, outside of his burrow. We just haven't had a chance to grab him, and tonight he was under our lodge in some of the water from doing our laundry earlier, and we managed to grab a hold of him to let him let you guys see him at home. So there he is, Mr. Smoky Jungle Frog. Ow, ow. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's his goodbye for you guys. It's okay, we're gonna go let you go soon, I swear. I'm not gonna hurt you. Or eat you. Can you, want me to Can you say, what? and then we're gonna move on to the next adventure. <laughs> go for it. <laughs> oh, plop. Plop. Now the way that he'll get away is with these massive, look at that. Wow. Very, very fast jumps very quickly out of the picture. Well, that's it for us today. We're going to head off to bed, some other of our nighttime adventures for another time, and we'll be moving on with you to the next great adventure. Adios. Good night.